Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful divine day in Los Angeles, California. And we're going to talk about manifesting today. This is like the buzzword of the buzzword of the new age, new thought, uh, self-help, all the spiritual junkies out there. So <laughs> it's just hilarious because I will never forget a time in my life when I was overcoming my codependency. I was in a horrific relationship with um, with an addict that kept falling on and off of the wagon, as they say. And I remember uh, they call it the merry-go-round in 12 steps. And if you read that at all, it's like a play that has a script that every single person that is in dis dysfunctional relationship has read and they just play it out with different characters with the same theme. And the point is, is that it's a merry-go-round. One week or one month, you're in totally the honeymoon state of your relationship. And the next, uh, you know, week or month, you are in a living hell and breaking up and having all kinds of dysfunction. So it's like a total entanglement, complete heaven, losing your identity and morphing into uh, the, the drug of uh, delusional love. And then the next uh, cycle is breaking up and hating one another and going the opposite directions. And, you know, as some relationships are not this extreme, we have these beliefs over and over again. I hear this from people like I had a gal the other day, she did not like her job. One day she was, uh, you know, get so into her job and like, I love this, this is so great. And then two days later, she'd go, I hate this job. Why am I in this job? And we call it mixed messages in my industry, if you will, because we're constantly informing universal law and, uh, you know, our subconscious and everything else through the feelings that back our word. That's how we inform our subconscious. It's how we inform the universe. And so if you're somebody that finds that you are combative within, one day you, uh, you know, are loving and seeing the person you're with as a miracle. And the next day you're like, why am I with this person? And you're sending these different emotions um, that are informing everything or maybe it's the realm of your health, you know, maybe one day you're like, Oh, I love this, I can eat so healthy one day. And the next you're like, I can't stand healthy food, I want some junk food, you know, you're all over the board. It's called commitment. And um, so today, I want to break down the two points of power of manifesting and break down and end those cycles of whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in your job, whether it's in your health, whether it's in your creative expression. You know, oftentimes I have people that come and they want to fulfill dreams. They want to write a book. They want to, you know, become, I don't know, an expert in a field or a public speaker or uh, start their own company. And one day they're all hyped up and motivated and the next they don't believe in themselves and they're going the opposite direction. So this is to address all of those issues. So for me, getting off that merry-go-round and really uh, learning to love myself, one of the things that really helped me was learning what I consider the two points of power of manifesting. So I'm going to break this down for you guys. So get out your pen and pencil, if you will, or get into a meditative state. And let's just first know the truth, knowing that right here, right now, that you are spirit. That's your true identity, that you inform and direct energy and the universal law, that you are that powerful. In fact, there's no action needed for manifesting. The universe is taking your order 24 seven. The universe is the extension of you. No words need to be spoken. It listens to your energy, vibration and frequency. It is time to move beyond sending mixed messages to your life and begin to aligning and being in that most powerful position who you are, and manifest what you truly desire, okay? So there really are two points of power as far as manifesting. And um, the first one is basically seeing life as a miracle, seeing everything and everyone as a miracle that they are, and staying utterly in awe and gratitude. And the reason why this is a power of, uh, a position of power is because we basically are informing ourself and the law of gratitude where we're getting in a state where we are in receptivity we are in receptivity of giving and receiving love and abundance and the flow of energy we're not stifling it with a limiting belief or being uh, divided right so if you want to inform and allow more into your life and you're saying basically to the universe 
this is totally abundant, this is totally wonderful, this is loving, this is giving, this is expressing. You are informing the law and through the law of correspondence, it has to reflect back more of that love, more of that gratitude, more of things that you love. And so you are informing it in that direction. Okay, the second point, position of power is never settle and live in 100% faith. So what does that mean? That means you don't look at life and go, I don't want this, because we know that if you inform universal law, I don't want this, and you're coming from a state of, of, you know, not enjoying, then the universe has to send you back not enjoying, right? So basically, it's living in 100% faith. So let's pretend that you're in an environment, in a relationship, in whatever it is that is not working for you, beginning to know that what you truly desire within and what you truly focus on envisioning and in, and seeing and holding those mental pictures and taking inspired action around that picture that you do want in your life, that's called faith. That is called knowing that what you truly are believing in mind and what you are creating is is what is definitely out picture and what is destiny. Your tr- truest desires are your destiny. That doesn't mean that you look like what you don't want or what you can't have. It's what you commit to what you do want. You commit to living and embodying that which you seek. Okay. So I'm going to tell you these again. Number one is see everything and everyone is a miracle. And number two is living in 100% faith. Okay. Can you do both? Absolutely. The most powerful position would be to be in both. However, most people are not able to. Most people do not have a strong enough a consciousness to stay in both those states. Um, but it is something to, to aspire to. It is a daily spiritual practice um, every day and a discipline within the power of your mind. And hence, uh, you know, the like the positive psychology movement, there's some pitfalls because people feel like they can't ever get sad or get lonely or get down. But there is some truth in that because we want to stay in a positive field so that we're constantly informing the universe to send us more positivity. Okay, so how do we do this? You know, so number one is seeing everything as a miracle. That doesn't mean that we see, you know, that we don't hold people accountable. That doesn't mean any of that. It means that you literally just see them in the perfection of of their insanity. You can see them in the perfection of of where they are on their track. You can see, uh, you know, life as um, just this big game, right? You can you can do that. And as you begin to focus on the miracles that everyone is, and that every aspect of this life is, you can get into that state of bliss. And in doing that, you get into a higher frequency and you can actually have more bliss come into your life. It is literally informing universal law. That doesn't mean you don't don't take action. Uh, You know, prayer without uh, action is is dead, as they say, or that's not the right saying. (laughs) Say something like that. Prayer without work is dead. There you go. So uh, begin to see everything as the miracle that it is. Even if you have to like just start, you know, being funny around it. Sometimes... If I don't, like I get fascinated by people and what they're creating with their lives and sometimes I could really start complaining, but instead I just switch it and I go, that's fascinating. And I start to just think of it like a comedy show that people are up to and stay in that state, that high vibration state of just loving people exactly as they are. Doesn't mean you need to entangle with them. Doesn't mean you need to be in business with them. Doesn't mean you need to have a relationship with them, but you can see them as a miracle that they are. And the second is to always live in faith. So you can and basically never settle and live in faith. That means that you're always, always, always holding and embodying that which you seek. That means that you're always knowing that what you know in mind and what you step into is your destiny. That whatever's going on in your life, whatever circumstance, whatever financial circumstance, whatever health circumstance, whatever relationship uh, circumstance you're in, that it is all a matter of you deciding in mind and um, moving towards the mental picture that you want to create in your life. And that doesn't mean you make anything wrong out there. That doesn't mean you don't focus on what you don't want. That means that you step into never settling and living in grace. Okay, so today, today's universal law, because every day I would teach a universal law distinction. Today's the law of love. Woohoo, perfect for today, right? This law is the internal mechanism of life that guides all things in order, harmony, and love. If the creative process is inverted, it creates chaos, harm, or discord. 
and uh, the bounding effect uh, is prevailed. So love is the expression and expansion of spirit. So you want to stay in a state of love. That's why you stay in faith or that's why you see everything is a miracle because then you create more, more, more of that. It's compounding. Today's daily spiritual practice is to go into gratitude and give Thanks to every aspect of your life, even the hard things. Begin to see the blessing, the lesson, and all the above. And then today's challenge is to decide to stay positive. Decide to stay positive no matter what. That doesn't mean that you stay delusional. That means that you can, if things are hard in your life, you can go within and you can have faith and know that you have the power to change anything in your life, okay? So on that note, you guys, if you've enjoyed today's talk, this 11-minute podcast, please share it, like it, comment all the above. Send me a direct message. I also do take one-on-one clients, but I only work with high-end clients. I only work with people who are 100% committed to having breakthroughs in their personal and professional lives. You can also find me at erinfallhaskell.com. You can find me at Dr. Aaron across all social media, and you can get my free app with 30 guided meditations, all my interviews from Focus TV Network and the Dr. Aaron Show uh, on all that. It's all in the notes here, you guys. So have a divine day and may you live your truth.